Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the end of July this year, as I posted, the experimental flag to enable Fluent scroll bars was now available once again in Chrome Canary version 117. And as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, once that flag was enabled, uh, the scroll bars took on a very similar look and feel to that of Microsoft Edge and Windows 11. And we can see have a much more rounded look and material you redesign to bring a more modern look and feel to that scroll bar. Now, just to let you know that over and above the Windows 11 Fluent scroll bars, as mentioned in that previous video, that have made a comeback in Chrome 117, the experimental flag to be able to enable overlay scroll bars has now also made a comeback in version 117 of Chrome, which is still the latest preview version. And this overlay scroll bars feature has been coming and going quite a lot over the last couple of months uh, in the Chrome web browser. Google tests it, then they remove it, then they bring it back. And now once again, it's made a comeback. And uh, um, overlay scroll bars, in case you're wondering what they are actually all about, in case you're unaware, is overlay scroll bars, a simple definition would be basically they are placed over the content and not in the so-called bar or gutter. So yeah, you can see there's an actual bar or gutter here to the right-hand side that the scroll bar actually moves up and down in and are usually partially transparent. So that's the difference basically between a fluent and an overlay scroll bar. Now, obviously, when you mix the two together, the fluent and the overlay scroll bar, you get a much more modern look and feel. So obviously, that's what Google is trying to do by now um, adding this new experimental flag once again, which, as mentioned, has been coming and going quite a lot. And um, to enable the flag in version 117, as always, we head up to our Omnibox and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And just before we enable uh, the flag, as mentioned, you get that bar or that gutter. So there we go. It's that white bit that the scroll bar moves up and down in. Now, that's the bit that's going to be removed with this flag, just to put it all into context. Now, the flag, once again, is called overlay scroll bars, but I would just suggest typing in scroll bars. And yeah, we get both flags. We get the Windows Fluent scroll bar and bars, which we posted on in the previous video, which we have already enabled. And yeah, we get the overlay scroll bars flag for today. And the description reads, enable the experimental overlay scroll bars implementation. And once again, we change that from default to enabled. And then we'll have to relaunch Chrome 117 to apply that flag. And now you'll see, if we head over to the right-hand side, that actual bar or gutter, for want of a better word, has been overlaid. So it's basically become transparent and we can just move the actual scroll bar up and down as we can see. I don't know if you can see that properly in the video. There we go. And if we head back to my YouTube channel, this may just give us a better idea. We can see there is no uh, white uh, bar or for, for want of a better word, gutter here to the right hand side. And if I scroll, everything becomes transparent. So that's mixing the fluent scroll bars and the overlay scroll bars into one package, as mentioned, bringing a much more modern look and feel to um, the Chrome web browser, because obviously, as mentioned in previous videos, uh, Google is working on a Chrome UI refresh for this year, for 2023. And it's still very early days, though. Um, these uh, fluent scroll bars and overlay scroll bars are not available as yet uh, in the stable version. And because they are still hidden behind experimental flags, are still in very early development. So it's very hard to say if this will actually make it out as part of the Chrome UI refresh. But nonetheless, just letting you know that um, those Fluent and now the overlay scroll bars are being tested in Chrome 117, which means there's a, there may be a chance that this could roll out, but not guaranteed. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.